Are we excited? Cute five eight. Woo. Over 1 million developers are writing their software with Qt. Qt 5.8 is the latest release of our framework Qt that allows you to create cross-platform applications and power your embedded devices with or without user interfaces. The Qt libraries and tools allow you to create great user experiences while at the same time reducing your development time so you can reach your markets faster. Qt 5.8 is the solution for creating next-generation connected devices and IoT systems. With this release, we're introducing the first results of our Qt Lite project that basically allow you to configure Qt to your exact project needs and widen your install base of devices to also lower-level devices such as wearables or Internet of Things things. You can now select not only the individual modules of Qt, but also the individual features inside a module to match your exact needs. And all this from a very convenient graphical tool. So with Qt Lite, you can now reduce your memory footprint dramatically, widen your install base, and also fasten your device startup time significantly. The other thing with modern embedded devices is that many vendors don't actually create single devices anymore, but instead they're creating whole software platforms to run applications on it. For instance, either their own or even allowing third-party applications to run on the device. With the new Qt Wayland Compositor API, you can actually create multi-process embedded user interfaces and build complete application frameworks on top of Qt using high-level programming APIs. On the graphics side, Qt 5a brings you two brand new features. First of all, the Qt Quick Controls 2 are now updated to work also on desktop platforms in addition to embedded and mobile platforms. With Qt Quick Controls 2, you get a pre-built set of UI controls for your QML applications. Secondly, industries like automotive or avionics heavily rely on state machines when handling complex logic. A good way for defining state machines is by state charts. Qt 5.8 introduces a fast and easy way for integrating state charts using the new Qt SCXML state chart API and a visual drag and drop editor inside the Qt Creator 4.2 IDE. This way, you get this really nice designer developer workflow. Qt Creator gives you the whole tool set, all the way from design to development, debugging, profiling, and of course, immediate deployment to a target hardware. Of course, there are a lot of other great improvements all around the Qt APIs and tools with our latest release. Letting you focus on the content, on the next big thing you're going to create and not the hurdles on your way there. So go ahead, get Qt 5.8 today from Qt.io and try it out yourself.